that lineup will face Chris Archer for the Minnesota Twins today. His stats brought to you by Home Furniture, making his 19th start of the season. And on the outside edge, a four pitch strikeout of Guriel, one down. A bullet, and it almost went through Gordon's glove at short. Hit him in the palm of the glove and almost rolled up out of the webbing. Two down. And a one two pitch line drive, one hop right side, snagged by Polanco, sets his feet, throws him out to end the inning. So two hard hit balls back to back, but both outs. Guerrero to short, Kirk to second. And the Blue Jays retired one, two, three. Now Kevin Gosman will go to work after a scoreless first half. Coming up for the Twins, Luis Arise, Jorge Polanco, and Max Kepler. So a four-man outfield for Polanco, three in the right side, the 0-2, check swing, ground ball, base hit, left field. Splitter, and Polanco did that on purpose. Uh, he saw the pitch coming, almost anticipated that two-strike split. 0-2. Swing and a line drive, played on a bounce by Espinal. Pretty play, long throw to second for one, return to first, not in time. What a play by Santiago Espinal, ranging back to his left, handling the low line drive on a short hop, then the long throw to get Polanco at second. 2-2, two -two. got it. A splitter to strike him out and end the inning. No runs, a base hit, a nice defensive play by Santiago Espinal, and a strikeout from Gosman. Oscar Hernandez, Bo Bichette, and Matt Chapman, 0-1. Hit hard through the left side, a base hit. That ball is clubbed right through the left side of the diamond. It streaks up to eight for Teoscar Hernandez. It's Bo Bichette. Six hits in the series against the Twins. Leadoff batter on here in the second. Bichette lines one to right center field, and it's going to get to the fence. Teoscar on his way to third and getting the wave. The relay throw to the plate is cut. Teoscar scores standing up. 1-0 Toronto here in the second. Hernandez got on. Bo doubles him home. And the Blue Jays strike first. Double number 27 on the season for Bichette. It's a ringing one to the opposite gap. On the outside edge, and Chapman knew. One down, and that'll bring up top end. That's Chapman's ninth strikeout of this series. Full count, and the 3-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out in a changeup. And Tapia chase ball four. And a pitch, a fly ball, softly right field. Kepler breaks in. He's there. He's got it. And the inning is over. So Archer with a fist pump there. Had to work hard. Only gave up the one run. Kevin Biggio leading off the third. Kevin batting ninth, playing first. And this one is hit high and deep to right center field. Celestino is going to have to play it off the wall. And Biggio gliding into second with a double. A nice piece of hitting right there from Kevin Biggio. Lead off double. Now the Blue Jays have to bring him around. So now the lead off man, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Now they got a runner at second. Nobody out again here in the third. Swing a line drive right back up the middle. A base hit into center field. Wheeled around third. Biggio comes to the plate. Here's the throw by Celestino. It's cut off. Biggio is in easily on the RBI single from Lourdes Goriel Jr. 2-0 Toronto. Chopper left side cut off beautifully by Urshela and he starts a double play. That second hop was a short one and Urshela snagged it and ended up starting an around the horn double play. And a fastball ends it. Couple of hits, one more Toronto run. But Archer has a quicker third inning than second. Luis Arise takes one just low for ball one. Lifted a fly ball to left field his first time up. There's a ball hit to the right field corner. Arise has a knock, and he'll dig around first on his way to second. He's in with another double. Two doubles last night, and another one here this afternoon. To right field, Hernandez going back. Arise setting up for a tag, and Arise will advance to third, but now two are down, uh, gone for Max, uh, Max Kepler. Up the middle through Gosman. Bichette is there and makes the play. Kepler and the Twins are retired as Arise is stranded at third. Jays have had leadoff hits in the last two innings and scored a run in each. The ground ball behind third. Good play by Urshela. Wow! What a fantastic play by a fantastic third baseman. <laughs> Urshela getting high fives from the Blue Jay players at the rail. Well, we saw him go to his left last inning against Vladimir Guerrero. Made a really nice play to start a double play, and then here showing his range to his right. He had to run a long way for that ball. He's way in foul territory. Strong throw. Look at where that throw goes right on target, Jose Miranda. He's had success with the splitter when he's doubled up on it. More of the hole and Chapman with a nice pickup, but he can't get the ball out of his glove. Well, Stan will probably get credit for a hit there. Very similar to the play that Urshela made to start a double play, but Chapman couldn't get a handle on the ball. 
One, two. Swing and a miss. Strikeout number five for Kevin Gosman. He was trying to tie this ball game up. That's not a typical two strike swing right there. I like these battles. Like with a rise in Polanco, you got a very smart pitcher on the mound. You got very smart hitters in the box. It's uh, this is the chess aspect of baseball. Into shallow left field, Lourdes Gurriel coming on to make the catch, and a couple of runners left stranded as Gosman gets out of it in the bottom of the fifth. Again, Guerrero at first, two down, two to nothing, Blue Jays here in the sixth. And the first pitch lined hard down the left field line, a fair ball. It's in play as Guerrero comes around to third on a double for Teoscar Hernandez. Steps into that batter's box and looked like a hanging slider, and he hammered that thing down the left field line. Bichette, 117 strikeouts. Bichette right on that fastball, so try to get this thing down and away. Yeah, pretty good spot and a good result. Two men left in scoring position. Bottom of the six, two nothing Toronto. Kepler's 0 for six since being activated off the injured list with a broken toe. And that's caught out behind second base by Matt Chapman for out number one. The pitch in the air, out to left. That'll carry to Guriel. Underneath it, makes the catch. Two down. Gio Urshela's one for two. That's lobbed out to right field. Hernandez shuttles to his right, makes the catch. Urshela is retired, and so are the Twins. No runs, a base hit, and a man left. Not going to get any easier. Yumi Garcia, a tough bullpen guy that they have. And, and the 1 0 pitch, ground ball, right side, base hit, right field. There's a start as Polanco pulls a ground ball single between Biggio and Espinal. And the Twins, for the first time today, put the leadoff man on. If it's middle in, take a rip. If it's something that he can locate away, and a balk is called, and Polanco will go to second. So a hit to the outfield might get the Twins on the board now. Classic. It, it, it's funny that they call that a balk because it's supposed to be deceiving the runner, but there he flinched getting that sign, thought the catcher was going to put down one thing, put down something else. And, but I think you look for a fastball and try to drive it hard somewhere with that guy in second. You just want to get him in. Driven to right center field. The rookie comes through again. Polanco around third. He will score. And it's a two to one ball game. And the fans here at Target Field do have something to get fired up about. So Miranda, two hits. Both have gone the opposite way. A slicing line drive single to right center. He has now 47 RBI. And he is now four shy of Polanco's team leading 51. Such a difference in velocity, though. You've got to be revved up for the fastball, but be very aware that. That, that hook is coming. Lopez is ready at first. He goes. 3-2 pitch. Curveball. Check swing. Base hit into right field. Sinks over near the line. Lopez running towards third. He gets the stop sign there as Chapman dunks one into right field. And the Blue Jays continue to pressure the Twins here in the ninth. The stretch and the 1 0 pitch is popped up. Back of short. Gordon goes out. Cave runs in. It's going to be Gordon in left. He's got it. And the Blue Jays strand two. The Twins need only one to tie, two to win. Bottom nine coming up. Romano in to close for the Jays. And Carlos Correa is out to pinch it. And he will bat right away. For and Correa is hit by a pitch on an 0-2 pitch. He's brushed on the right shoulder, it looked like. I think the pitch went right under his chin, though. And the 1-1. Ground ball left side, base hit left center. Beckham's going to round second base. He's going to try for third. He's going to make it. No throw from Merrifield. Sanchez singles to left center. Beckham's at third. There's only one out. And here comes Luis Arise. Infield comes in, plays about halfway. No overshift on Arise. Beckham the tying run at third. And the pitch, a ground ball, right side, base hit, right field. Beckham scores, Sanchez to second, 2-2 two, two at target field. Fourth blown save all year for the all-star Romano. Winning run, Sanchez at third, 2-2, two, two, two out, bottom nine. Polanco goes, chopped to the right side, and will go to the 10th inning. The Twins, a couple of big hits, including an RBI single by Luis Arise, tied at two, we head for extras. So Merrifield at third with one out of the batter is Kevin Biggio, one for three. And the pitch, a swing and a fly ball, shallow left. Beckham in, still coming, still coming. He's got it, Merrifield is coming home. Beckham throws to the plate, the catch, the tag. This time, Sanchez has him, he's out, he's out! Merrifield is saying he never had a lane. And maybe he was arguing about a running lane, but I mean, Sanchez has a right to be in the lane if he has to be there to yes. catch the ball. And so. he did, and he textbook dropped that knee down, block him off the plate. There goes the knee. He slides into the knee, and I don't think he got to the plate. But where is Sanchez supposed to be if the throw is right on top of home plate? You got me. Uh, crazier things have happened on these challenges. After review, the call on the field is overturned. There was a violation by the catcher. The runner is safe.
save. Infield back. Big lead at third with the tying run. Again the set by Romano and again the one two and a ground ball to short. Bichette on to first in time and the Blue Jays will win it. The booing erupts here at Target Field because of the call in the top half of the inning. But the Blue Jays win the game three to two and split the series. Wow, what what a ball game, what a series.